Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Pisces for November of 2020. So let's see what is going on for you guys. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I do go live every Tuesday night with different topics on toxic relationships, spirituality, spirit guides, all the good stuff. So make sure you hit the subscribe with the little bell notification. And if you guys haven't heard, I do have a new course out called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are ready to really embody your higher self or manifest the things that you want in your life or you've been trying to manifest and you don't know why it's not coming in, I'm going to teach you in this course exactly how I manifested this house, manifested my little puppy, and also manifested financial freedom. So if you're interested in learning that, you can check it out in the description and the comments below to get more details. Early bird pricing does end on November 1st. All right, let's see what's happening here. Three more cards, please, for the sign of Pisces for November. Lots happening this month for you here. Ooh, ending it strong. Okay, now we've got the overall energy here is the Three of Cups. So this is about socialization. This is about getting out with your friends. Um, you know, there's three here. So definitely there could be a triangulation here as well. But definitely hanging out, having some fun, and really enjoying yourself. We've got, in the, mid, in the beginning of the month, we've got the Judgment card with the Tower with the Four of Wands. So... I feel as though, again, this could be with friends because of this card, but there could be a friend that you are having a falling out with here. With the tower card, you can see it's like it's all coming down. Now, I love tower cards because it means that there's changes coming. And with the judgment card here and the four of wands, it's very important for you to communicate during this, this week, during the beginning of the month, actually. Because there might be misperceptions, there might be assumptions, there might be judgment from one or the other where you don't know everything. So you want to make sure that you communicate here with whoever this is relating with. All right. But there's definitely something happening, feeling like everything's coming down, things are falling apart. But the most important thing to remember is that. I feel as though the reason that that is happening is because there's judgment and assumptions being made from either one side or both sides and it's like conflicting but you got to kind of open yourself up to communication so that you can understand each other. Um, they're telling me let the ego down. So you know our ego can really get our pride, our ego can really get in the way sometimes. <laughs> so make sure that you put that in check. And then you can go ahead and communicate with this person. Um, I do feel like for some of you, again, these are general readings. Um, it will depend on the other person if the other person can put their ego down as well. So some of you, you'll both be able to put your egos aside and your pride aside and really make it work and make it um, happen to reconcile. But then others of you, it might not be you or it might be, you know, energies can go back and forth here. But... It might be the other person that isn't willing to put the ego aside, doesn't know how, isn't maybe awakened. Um, so it might, it can go either way with you, but it depends on one person, okay? In the middle of the month here, we've got the Queen of Wands, we've got the Chariot, and we've got the Seven of Cups. So no matter what happens up here, I do feel as though you take your power back here with the Queen of Wands and you stand in your truth and you kind of move forward here. Now, it might be a little bit hard to let something go, um, but you do so, you do have some options. There's different things that you can do to keep yourself busy. This could mean that you've got other friends to hang out with, so definitely do that. I do feel for some of you here that this could have to do with a relationship. It could have to do with either you're in a relationship and you want to like that relationship breaks up, you've got the Ten of Cups here with the Eight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So overall, I feel, this is at the end of the month, so this is a happy home, happy life. Eight of Cups is like walking towards something better and the King of Pentacles is like, you don't need to worry, okay? So what I feel is that whatever is happening in the, in the beginning of the month, if it is unreconcilable, I'm not sure that's how you say that, <laughs> but if you cannot make it work, um, there's going to be something, I'm not going to say there's going to be something better, but there's, 
it's still going to lead to this happiness. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me get a grip of what I'm trying to say to you because I'm not getting it across. Um, whatever happens up here is going to push you forward in order for you to get this happiness that you want. For some of you, this might push you in a different direction, which then leads you to get what you want here. So this could be that there's two relationships. There's three people here. There's three people in this card. So for some of you, it could be that this one doesn't work out. So you go to the other one and the other one was the person all along. And that is really what's going to create this beautiful energy down here at the end of the month. Okay, so this tower card has to happen because you might be with the wrong person. You might be friends with the wrong person. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay. But all of it, I just feel like pushing, like it's being, you're being pushed. So this is like the universe kind of stepping in and pushing you. It's like, no, 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 no. We're going to go this way. <laughs> right. So that's what I'm feeling here for you. Uh, I'm going to pull two clarification cards just to see what comes up here. What can we give two clarification cards? Let's keep going. Sign of Pisces, please, November. Yeah, so for some of you, yeah, that judgment card came up again. So for some of you, it's going to be a new career. So we've got the new career moves here, the um, one of coin, the ace of coins. So that is the ace of pentacles. So again, money opportunity. So this could be something having to deal with work. It could be having to deal with relationships, friendships, family stuff, um, anything else that, however it resonates, they are general. So, um, but for some of you, it's going to be a new career move where you're going down this path. Maybe you get fired, maybe you get let go. Um, maybe there's a conflict at work, but something happens and now you're going to go down this other path. Okay. You've got the judgment. So this is putting the past to rest. So however, this is resonating with you, for some of you, it's going to be putting that past to rest. Now, for some of you, if it's work could be that you've got to put the failures that you have done before that have come up before you got to lay them down and realize that failures are a good thing because it lets you learn and how to move forward. So do not let the fear seep in that you're always going to fail. And then for the other relationship stuff that's happening here, like whatever happened in the past, you got to let go of the judgment. You might be judging others. People might be judging you. But if neither, if neither of you can let that past go and let the judgment go, it's not going to work out. So take that as you will. Let me know in the comments how the heck this resonated with you because I feel as though I'm reading like four or five different stories here. So let me know what resonates with you. Now, I also have my Soul Truth deck here, which is all about asking questions, which I absolutely love. So let's see what question that Pisces needs for the month of November. Mm, I love this card. Okay, so... How can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Today's sole action is know this deeply that your soul vibrates. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra, I surrender, I accept all that I cannot change, I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. I love that. So how can you surrender even more in this moment? How can you surrender here? How can you let go of this judgment? So let it go, okay? It says, um... Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for the things that you cannot see yet. So I absolutely love that. So um, I hope this resonates with you. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you want to join me in our Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance, uh, definitely click the link below to find out more details. And like I said, early bird pricing ends on November 1st. Um, I want to thank you for being here. Much love to you. And I hope you have a wonderful month. Just remember, it all ends up good.
So no matter what happens this month, um, push through it and let go and surrender. Okay. I will talk to you soon. Much love. Bye.